G3 drive belt removal. First thing you'll do is you'll grab a adjustable crescent wrench and also a 9 16 wrench. With the adjustable wrench, you will be able to adjust it to get onto the hub portion of the driver pulley onto the flats. That'll help hold the driver pulley while then using a 9 16 wrench to loosen the flex coupling bolt. It'll loosen and then rotate the driver pulley. to gain access to the opposite side and do, do the same thing. Once bolts are loosened, we can go ahead and remove, remove the bolts. and spacer. Now with both bolts and spacers removed, there will be a space created between the drive pulley and the flex coupling disc to allow the drive belt to come through. You will take a 3H ratchet, engage it into the idler arm, pulling up on the arm will take the tension off of the belt. Once the tension is off the belt, first remove off the right side pump pulley. After you've done that, go ahead and get the belt on at least the bottom half of the belt on the back side of the ratchet. This then will allow you to Allow the ratchet to rest against the tractor power shaft. And from there, you'll continue to work the belt off of the other pump pulley and idler. And then you will bring up through the flex coupling disc and the pump driver pulley. First thing you'll do is you'll bring the belt through the opening of your flex coupling disc and pump driver pulling. Your 3H ratchet still resting against the pump power shaft. Lift up, slide the bottom half of the belt underneath. From there, you'll continue to kind of work the, the belt over on the left hand side, getting it back behind the idler pulley. Once you have it around the back side of the idler pulley, go ahead and get the belt started around the left pump pulley. Once you've got it around the left pump pulley, kind of straighten it up. Get everything aligned correctly which then will allow you to get it started around the right side pump pulley. Once the belt's been aligned and wrapped around the pulleys correctly, you then take the tension off of the arm with the ratchet. And then now the other arm is holding the tension onto the pump belt. Once the drive belt has been installed, most likely what has happened is the rotation of the pulley has changed from where it was originally at when you removed the spacers in between here, as well as the fiber disc. What will make the installation easier to where you can work on both sides is to rotate the coupling shaft 
to where the mounting holes are in a horizontal plane. How you'll do that is just come to the back side onto the clutch bolt and rotate until both holes are in a horizontal plane. Once you have them there, next will be the pump pulley. You can grab it on the coupling sleeve for the hydraulic deck lift pump and rotate until those holes are also horizontal. Installation of the spacers, making sure <clears throat> that the, the taper of the spacer will go up against the face of the fiber disc. So again, you want the tapered edge of the spacer to go against the face of the fiber disc. As you start the bolt, you may have to rock the, the driver pulley back and forth to get the alignment of the bolt into the threaded holes of the driver pulley. Once you get both bolts started, you can go ahead and finger tighten the bolts. Again, you can rock the pulley back and forth just to Create a little more looseness between the threads of the bolt and the pulley. This will allow the, the bolt to tighten up easier. After the bolts are just kind of finger tight, again, you'll grab your crescent and the, the wrench and go ahead and rotate. and being able to hold the pump drive pulley with the crescent as you tighten the bolts down 